Hi Stampers, this is Kathleen at KathleenStamps.com. Today I wanted to bring you this cute card that I made using the Dragonfly Dream stamp set and the detailed Dragonfly thinlets um, that I used to, it coordinates with the stamp set and then I also used it to cut out the Dragonfly. Um, I thought this card just turned out so elegant and I'm really liking it. It's very easy to do and as you can see there's just minimal stamping but I I just think it's a wonderful card so let's see what we need to go ahead and make it. So the first thing that you're going to need is the Dragonfly Dream stamp set and this is a photopolymer stamp set so it makes it really nice when you want to line things up. Then we're going to be using the detailed Dragonfly thinlets and I'm using the medium size Dragonfly and then I'm also going to be using um, the stitch shape circle. I decided to try, I have had this paper in my stash since last year and have never used it unbelievably. It's located on page 194 of the 2017-2018 Stampin' Up! annual catalog and it's called Fabulous Foil Designer Acid and I'm going to be using this polka dot design which you can see right here. Now one thing that's really cool about this paper is there's three different designs and on one side it's gold and on the other side it's silver. So you get multiple use out of the paper which I just think is phenomenal. The other thing that I found out while I was using it is that there is this clear backing on the paper. So I just stuck a piece of tape to it to pick it up because I couldn't get the corner to, rela to release and then you want to pull this off before you actually adhere it to your card and so we're going to go ahead and we're going to stamp our dragonfly and because it's a big stamp I have a tendency to ink it up upside down um, when I'm inking it the other way sometimes I have a really difficult time deciding whether there's ink all over the stamp and you end up with kind of this empty space in the middle and that's not good so we'll go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp it in the corner and I'm going to stamp it off so it is just hanging around the corner like this because I'm going to do some trimming around it. I've started doing this on the inside of my cards and I really like the appearance. So we got that down in the corner and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take my snips. These are awesome. If you don't have them you certainly need to purchase a pair. They make it so nice and easy for when you're going to do this little bit of detail or fussy cutting. So I'm just going to go right around the dragonfly wing. And you notice that when I cut, I use the back throat or all the way down on the scissors or on the snips. And you get a much better cut by doing that. And I also move the paper as opposed to constantly moving my scissors around. So just a couple little cuts here and we're all done. I hope you are enjoying this video. If you are if and you're watching it on YouTube I would really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, oh, I'm sorry but I hope you don't give me a thumbs down. That just makes me so sad every time I get one of those. Uh, you can also go out to my coordinating blog post at KathleenStamps.com and you'll see all of the products that I used and links to how you can go ahead and purchase the items if you're interested in doing so. So this was what we're now going to put in for the inside of the card and I really like how that just adds a lot of interest to the inside. Now we're going to do is we're going to, I've taken a piece, a half inch piece of Fairy Vanilla, it's half, one half inch by two and a half inches and we're going to stamp the greeting or the sentiment. What we're going to do is stamp down and hold. You know you always want to let the inks or the stamp sit on your cardstock for just a little while to let the ink to absorb into the paper and you'll get a much better image if you do that. And there's our sentiment. Okay, so amazingly we're through stamping. <laughs> Didn't do a whole lot on this card but it's hey, it's still really cute. I love it. 
So let's go ahead and start putting things together. So I'm going to use a combination of adhesives today, sometimes snail, sometimes my um, Tombow. Uh, I love the Tombow because of the slip time that it gives me because I am always not just perfect at sitting the card down right the first time and when I manage to get it on there crooked, ugh, just makes me crazy. So this way, by if I use the um, Tombow, you will see that you know you can you have a moment to put stuff down. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the Tombow underneath the tail of the dragonfly so that it won't get lifted up and accidentally torn off. Okay, so there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my circles together. And I just kind of offset it just a little bit. Just, I don't know, wanted to have a little bit of interest to it. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, acetate and I'm going to determine where it is that I want my um, ribbon to be. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it Oh, so that that bottom of polka dots shows up really nicely. So all I'm going to do is on the other side, because fortunately you can see right through there, I'm going to put a little bit of my snail and then I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to lay it on the front till I get it just where I want it. Okay, then I'm going to pinch and I'm going to put the um, ribbon down so it's attached right behind the, um, well, if I could talk today, I'm going to attach the ribbon behind the acetate. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my snail all across the back behind the ribbon, making sure that I get to the edge so that the glue, or that the edges with the ribbon will glue down really nicely and then I'm going to just take this and put it on the card. Now I know that my circle is going to be up in this corner right here so I'm safe putting adhesive right behind this area. So I'm just going to lift this up and I'm just going to put a couple of swipes of the adhesive and that will be down and now when I mount my circles on you won't be able to see the adhesive that's underneath and I just think that makes for a much more attractive um, design when you're using acetate or vellum you really just don't want that adhesive to show. So we're just going to put this on, get this in the corner where we like it. Okay. Whoops! <laughs> put that on crooked. Thank goodness you have that pickup with the acetate. Oh my gosh. Almost completely changed the design of the card. Okay. Now, I previously used my die and I cut out my dragonfly. And I'm going to take my Wink Estella and I'm just going to apply it all over the dragonfly. get really good coverage on this. I don't know how we ever got along without this Wink Estella. You know, I used to use a lot of glitter and then you end up wearing it and it's all over your house and you just don't even want to know what to do. You've got glitter, glitter everywhere. And so by the Wink Estella, it's nice because you can get that glitter um, all over your designs and make everything nice and sparkly and you don't have that mess, which is great. So now what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my gold thread. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals on the back of my dragonfly. And I'm going to use our new small dimensionals. These are called mini dimensionals and they're just fabulous 
I really like them. You know, I've always just cut things in half and it's worked out great. But this is so nice having something that's really small. Okay. All right. Then how I do this is I take my gold thread and I take my fingers and I stretch them apart a little bit and then I need to corral where that's going to go and then I just wind this around six, seven, eight times, it doesn't matter how many times to get as many loops as you think that you're going to want. So we're just going to keep winding this around till it looks full and really pretty. Okay, and then just cut your edge off. Now what you're going to do, I just take it off of my fingers and I pinch it in the middle and then I lay that pinched part right on the dimensional. And the dimensional then will help corral that thread. And if you have a little piece that's sticking out and if it chooses to be picked up, <laughs> you're just going to pick them up, put them down, right like that. And so now when you have, and so you can see how you get the thread right behind there and it just looks really cool. I love that thread. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this down on my on the card but because I've covered up that dimensional with all of this ribbon I need to put another I can either put another dimensional down or I can put some Tombow on there the Tombow right on top of both of those dimensionals and then I'm gonna lay this on my card where I want it just like that and one thing that you can do while you're waiting for it to dry is you can just put a block on it and that will help let that set and it won't wiggle on you well, amazingly, that's my whole card. I hope you liked it, and I really hope that you'll give this video a thumbs up. All of the supplies that I use can be found out on my blog at my coordinating blog post at KathleenStamps.com, and there'll be links for everything. Um, you'll find them right below the video or the YouTube channel right there, and you'll be able to have links for everything that you need. I hope you come back again. Thank you so much.